Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to try to do some quick love readings on your favorite idols or artists. Okay, today we're going to do a love reading on Roseanne Park, a.k.a. Rose from the girl group Blackpink. Okay, this is a requested video. So we're going to see what's in Rose's energy when it con consists, con pertains to love, okay? So, let's get started. All right, Divine Angels, can you please give us the best cards from this deck to describe Rose's, Roseanne Park's love life, okay? What information can you give us today about Rose's love life, okay? First thing we have, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you, will bring you romance, okay? So, <sighs> from... The first card that's pulled is that's not to me. Well, I, I don't want to speak too soon because I'm gonna speak pull a couple more cards, but it's telling her to stay optimistic about her love life, okay? And it says positive thinking and faith will bring her romance. Okay, let's see what else we can pull concerning Rose love life. Okay. We have pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Uh-oh. Okay, so she needs to pay attention to any red flags when it comes to dating, okay? Because there are signs that's cautioning her about certain people who she should get involved with, okay? So she needs to stay optimistic and, and be positive because she may have had relationships in the past that um, caused heartache, okay? Which caused her to be probably not as optimistic as she should be so that she can bring in true love versus um, toxic love, okay? Because he's saying to pay attention to any red flags that may uh, that may come about, you know, in her dating life, okay? Let's see if anything else wants to come out concerning Rosé. Love life. Okay, let's see. Can we get one more card concerning Rose's love life? Okay. And it speaks of trust. This situation is called is calling for you to have faith. Okay. Wow. So it looked like from the cards, like I was about to say before I pulled all the cards, it seemed like you know she may not be currently in the relationship and if she is okay she's being cautious to pay attention to red flags so let's see if we can pull some cards to get clarification on these three cards here that we have here for rose let's see if there's anything from this deck let's see is this the best deck that we should pull from Yeah, we'll pull from this one, okay? So it says, stay optimistic about your love life, okay? Why is this stay optimistic about your love life card here for Rosé? Is there anything you can tell us from this deck concerning the stay optimistic about your love life card for Rosé? Okay, it don't seem like it wants to speak, but let's try again. Stay optimistic about your love life for Rosé. Is there anything that you want to tell us, Spirit? No, Okay. Pay attention to red flags. What can you tell us about the pay attention to red flags for Rosé? Is there anything you can tell us concerning pay attention to red flags? Okay. Main female. Okay, the main female card came up here. So it's telling the main female, okay, to pay attention to these red flags. But we know that. So let's see if we can get anything else. Anything else you can tell us about pay attention to the red flags? Okay, yeah, concerning the message, okay, it said that there's a message to the main female that she needs to pay attention to red flags when it comes to um, her love life, okay, wow, okay, let's see, what can we find out about this trust card here for Rosé, what's this trust card here for Rosé, anything you can tell us from this deck concerning the trust card? Try one more time. Is there anything from this deck you want to tell us about the trust card, Divine Angels? Okay, trust. Okay, because there may be a false person. Okay, it said this situation is causing for you to have faith. Okay, concerning a false person. Oh, somebody's wearing a false mask. Okay. Let's find out, see if we can find out more about this false person. Anything you can tell us about this false person? And Rose love reading Divine Angel. Mm, 
Okay, let's see. Let's pull somewhere else. Let's pull some more cards here. Let's see what cards will be able to help us. Guess, let's pull from here. The Love Oracle card. Okay. Okay, can you tell us more about this false person here in Rose's reading? Who is this false person? Okay, because the situation is causing for you to have faith. Okay, have faith. Okay, so that you can distinguish who is who is truly in your corner and who is not. Who who can you trust in a relationship? Okay, you got to have faith, uh, true faith. Okay, to be able to use your intuition to be able to know who you should trust when it comes to um, your love life. So let's find out more about this false person. What can you tell us for this false person in Rose's reading? Concerning love. Why is this false person card here? Divine angels. Anything you can tell us about this false person? Mm. Destiny. Okay. But it's a hand up. <laughs> Why is this hand up as if it's stopping you? Okay. Let's see. Anything else you can tell us about this false person here when it comes to trust? Why is this false person here for Rose's reading? Okay. okay. Let's see here. Message. What can you tell us about this message card here? Why is this message card here for the main female? So pay attention to the red flag. Why is this message card here for Rose's reading? Can you tell us about this message card here, Divine Angels? Okay. Blonde female. Okay. This card for the blonde female comes up for a message. It says, pay attention to the red flags concerning a message that's coming in. Concerning a blonde female. Wow. Okay. What can you tell us? About this uh, pay attention to the red flag card. Why is this pay attention to the red flag card here? Is there anything you can tell us concerning this pay attention to the red flag? Okay. Is there anything else you can tell us about this blind female? Who's this blind female? Okay. Somebody from a past life. Okay. This blind female. Okay. This, she's going to receive a message. Pay attention to the red flags from a blind female from her past. Okay. Wow. Anything you can tell us about this main female here in this reading? Anything you can tell us about this main female here in this reading? For Rose. Okay, let's try one more time. Anything you can tell us about this main female? Thing you can tell us about to stay optimistic about your love life. All right, why is this stay optimistic card here for Rose's love reading? Okay, these cards are not wanting to speak today. Okay, let's put them in this deck. Let's see if they give us a little more information. Okay, well, can you tell us about this stay optimistic about your love life card here for Rosé? Why is this card here for Rosé? It says positive thinking and faith will bring, your, bring you romance. Is there anything you can tell us concerning the stay optimistic about your love life for Rosé reading? Is there anything you can tell us on this deck? Okay. Speaks of the sun. Okay. It speaks of a brighter day, warmth, vibrance, okay? Moving forward with happiness, okay? So it says for her to have this sun card to come in her life, she needs to be more optimistic about it, okay? Because the sun card speaks of positive vibes, okay? Um, let's see. Radiance, okay, abundance is radiant down upon you as warm yellow rays illuminate your days with confidence and lighthearted fun. The sun is the source of life, and you are reflecting its positive vibe, attracting people towards you. 
Okay, so in order for you to attract the best people in your life, you have to stay optimistic and be positive so you can attract positive people. Okay, great. Okay, anything you can tell us about pay attention to red flags with this deck, please? Pay attention to red flags. Why is that card here for Rosie reading? Pay attention to red flags. the red flags okay with the seven of swords okay the seven of swords speak of some type of sneaky energy okay somebody coming in being sneaky okay which may cause her to be have to always look over her shoulder always trying to you know check in on this person making sure this person is doing right okay she needs to pay attention to anybody who comes in with a seven of swords energy okay because it's like sometimes in life we can't be completely open and honest. A little lie, even just one of omission, may be tactfully required in a challenge situation. It said maybe you're dealing with a truly awful coworker or abusive relationship, and you need some secrets to keep to your, to keep yourself safe. Be careful that your that your deceit isn't hurting someone or yourself. Okay. And that it that it is truly the best way to deal with the situation. Yeah, somebody's being deceitful. Somebody may come into her life, this false person, may come into her life, okay, being deceitful, being sneaky, okay. And it says you need to pay attention to that. Okay. Let's see. What can you tell us about this message card? Why is this message card here? Okay. You know... It's right up on the pay attention to red flag with someone with the seven of swords. Someone may come in with lies. Okay. So is there anything you can tell us about this message card here for Rose Love Reading? Yeah. It's speaking of the moon, honey. The moon. Okay. Secrets. Lies. Deceit. Okay. Somebody coming in with, with lies. Okay. Being deceitful. Okay. Can't trust them. You can't have a healthy relationship with anyone that you can't trust. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And this card is extra scary. But you see two people standing there, okay, naked, being vulnerable, and then you have this little creepy thing coming up out the water. You know, playing with their emotions, playing with emotions, playing with your feelings. Okay. Let's see, what can we find out about this blonde female? Who's this blonde female? What can you tell us about this blonde female in this reading? Ace of Swords, okay? Speaks of clarity, cutting through the bullshit, okay? Cutting through all the crap, okay? Let's see, these are new cards. I like to find out exactly what they mean. Ace of Swords, it says a... A rush of clarity and inspiration comes with the beginning of this journey. You may feel as though your thoughts are racing constantly. The wheels are turning, okay? And you reached a revelation. This is just the beginning of a difficult path, though. And you will need all your wits and reasons about you to see it through. Okay. So, yeah. So, this it's like this blonde female is somebody that she needs to keep an eye on. Okay, this one female is probably one coming in with lies. Okay. You know. One female from your past life. Let's find out. Let's see, can we find out something about this main female? Okay. What can you tell us about this main female from this deck for Rose's love reading? King of Cups. Okay. Somebody that's in true control of their emotions. Okay. The king of cups. Okay. The king of feelings. The king of uh, emotions. Okay. In control of it. Let's see here.
Okay. Now the King of Cups, it says they it said they're claiming and their cup is brimming with love and compassion. Okay. So this main female, whenever the main female shows in the reading, that's the main person that we're speaking of who is Rose. Okay. So she is full of love and compassion. Okay. They draw strength from treating others with ten with tenderness and kindness. And they truly in touch with, with all of their emotions. They're the kind of person who feel perfectly at ease. Okay. Because their presence is sincere and accepting. Oh. Okay, so she's being sincere, she's being trustworthy, she's being honest, okay, and then she has people in her life that she has to be aware of, okay, that's coming into her life that's being sneaky, that's telling lies, okay. Let's see, let's see, can we find out more about this trust card? It says, trust, the situation's calling for you to have faith. Okay, what well, can we find out about this trust card? Why is this trust card here for Rosé? In her reading of love. Oh, that's your trust card here for Rose in her reading for, of love. In her love reading. Okay. These cards want to talk, they're not popping out. So let's try this one more time. Okay, let's see. What can you tell us about this false person? Is there anything you can tell us about this false person in Rose reading? Okay. Okay. This person is the fool. Okay. This is the fool. This person is who dances to the own beat of her own drums, dances to her own music. Okay. Taking a leap of faith, moving forward. Okay. A false person. Okay. It says trust. They trust this fool. Okay. So this false person is showing up as somebody that's. Um, that's unique. That's taking a leap of faith. Okay. And they say trust. Take a leap of faith. Okay. Okay. But this false person is also can be someone that's hiding behind a mask. Okay. That may not be so trustworthy. Okay. This, you know, even though it says false person, this person right here could also be someone that, um, you know, that may be scared to move forward. Okay, scared to take a leap, leap of faith. Okay, that's why this card is calling for you to trust. Okay, because, you know, if you don't trust and you can't stay optimistic, you will um, end up missing out on your destiny. So, this false person could also be um, Rosé. Okay. Okay, but we're going to see. Okay. What can you tell us about this destiny card? Why is this destiny card here for Rosalie Love reading? Okay. Yep. The lover's card. The lover's card. Two people coming together. Joining in together, okay, and it's her destiny, okay, and she needs to trust that this person is her destiny, okay, with the lover's card, okay, once she get rid of this false person, whoever this person is, okay, you know, she's going to be joined in with her destiny, she just needs to stay optimistic. Okay, and trust that the situation, the situation is calling for her to have faith, to take a leap of faith, okay, to, towards her destiny with her lover. Okay, the lover may be somebody that's opposite of what she is, okay, you know, t you know, opposite of track, okay, somebody that she can be vulnerable with, somebody that she can share her secrets with, and he can share, he or she can share their secrets with her, okay, and they can come before divine for, you know, to receive their blessings with this lover's card, okay, I want to read exactly what this card means in this deck okay because I, I love the lover's card okay let's see here all right okay we got the moon we got the, the world it makes me look Okay, the lover's card. It says, through love, we can reach new heights, okay? The lover's card is full of beauty, stars, wish, hope, 
okay? And dreams. Two hearts, minds, and bodies become one. The lovers creates a holy, unique, and special place. A paradise of mutual, mutual respect and adorations. Okay, all protective walls are torn down, leaving us naked and perfectly ourselves. Together, we see beautiful dreams through our unclouded, our unclouded eyes. We do things we never thought we could. Okay, we make each other stronger through trust. The world sings and nothing is impossible. You're feeling lucky in love, drunk in love, maybe a little crazy in love. There's a chance that there's new feelings come with a choice to make. So embrace your desires and trust your heart. Trust. Yeah, that's coming all together. That's coming all together. So she needs to trust in order to bring in her destiny, okay? She don't need to try to hide behind any kind of mask, any kind of false mask. She needs to be a fool, the fool, and take a leap of faith, okay, with this situation. Okay, because it's calling for her to have trust so that she can receive her destiny, who is her lover. Okay. Awesome. Let's see. Let's pull from this deck. Okay, let's see what else we can find out about Miss Rose, Miss Roseanne Park. Okay. What can you tell us about this lover's card here for Rose from this deck? What can you tell us about the lover's card? anything okay it speaks of a journey okay in order to find this person there is a journey that you have to take okay a leap of faith it's time to prepare for a journey it may be impromptu or planned either way make sure you're ready when the time comes pack your passport now oh beautiful oops Okay, so when it comes to her um, lover, to find her lover and put and call that person into her life, of course, she needs to stay optimistic, okay, because positive thinking and faith will bring your romance to you, okay? It will bring this sun into your life, okay, this radiance, this, this positive vibes into your life because you're being positive, okay? But you have to pay attention to any red flags, okay? Because everybody that comes along this journey is not always going to be meant for you, okay? So you need to be aware of all the red flags that come along here. Okay? And you need to have trust, okay? You need to have faith. You need to be this fool. You need to also be able to take a leap of faith, okay? When it comes to your destiny. Find out more about this blonde female. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, what can we find out, if anything, about this blonde female? Who's this blonde female? Okay. And Rose is reading. Who's this blonde female? Can you tell us about this blonde female and this reason for Rose? Okay. It speaks of release. Okay. Whoever she is, we need to release her. Okay. Because this is someone that, and you know, because this person right here is standing in a graveyard. Okay. Why do we go to a scary, spooky graveyard? Okay. It's, it's only spooky when we go and we don't know who's there. Okay. It, it becomes a place uh, for a remorse, a, a replace. A place to release any feelings to say goodbye to your loved ones okay this is someone that she loved okay this may even be family okay there's someone that your family related okay and she needs to release this person okay whoever this blind female is okay Thing you can tell us about this seven of swords here. Why is this seven of swords here for Rose's reading? Okay. Anything you can tell us about this message? This message card. Okay. It's a quest. Okay. With this quest card, it speaks of, okay, taking the right path, okay? 
okay because you can see up here we got two um this person right here is, is taking the path is deciding to take a path in life okay you have this area and this area but then you have to decide okay which area is so-called the best and which one is the worst for you okay because they both may give you the same results okay is is it even worth going down this path with this person okay for this quest okay or do you just need like I said release this person okay because sometimes Okay, because it's not like this, because it's going to be a journey that she's going with, okay? But is this somebody that she didn't make a decision with, okay? Or just, just leave it behind with this quest card. Because um, this area right here and this area right here, both, are the, both the flowers are growing in both areas, okay? So it's like, do I even need to go down this path, okay? Okay, is this path better than this one or, or this one better than that one? Okay, Let me, let's go and dig in a little deep. With this quest card and see exactly because sometimes you know it says you may be on a quest that is unnecessary like it said okay it, it may not even be necessary to even go down the path with this person okay allow yourself the space of self-discovery decide if it's even worth is this person even worth your your time because you got to pay attention to the red flags okay this person may not be worth even going down the path to discover anything about them it's just time maybe just be time to just release this person okay listen to pay attention to the red flags remember okay because you don't want to go down a quest with someone that's not even worth your time or effort somebody that's just being sneaky okay keeping secret being deceitful okay causing drama okay from your past okay they're in your past for a reason leave them there Okay. Let's see here. What else do we want to know? I want to know more about this false person. I want to make sure who this false person is. What can you tell us about this false person here for Rose's reading? Okay. Why is this false person here? Okay. It speaks of gossip. Ooh, somebody talking, somebody talking crap. Somebody, uh, you know, maybe even um, rumors. Okay. Yeah, somebody may be spreading rumors. Talking behind your back. Mm Or gossip. Okay, let's find a little, out a little bit more about this gossip card here. Gossip. Okay. Uniqueness of other. Okay, support for your vision. Lack of appreciation. Revo refocusing your life. Okay, that's a different type of meaning for gossip here. Okay, it's speaking of uniqueness of others. Okay. Because this false person here, because it's speaking of freedom, dance, honor. Rose may be feeling like she's a false person. She may feel like she don't even deserve good love in her life. Okay? It's like she's not even honoring herself. Okay? That's why I thought that this false person was her. Okay? That's a false person. She may feel like she's being false when it comes to, she may not, she may feel like she's undeserving of love. She probably has so many bad relationships, okay, or maybe just one bad relationship that really hurt her. She feels like she's she not even deserving to move forward on the journey to find a lover, okay. She probably don't even know that this person is in her destiny because they keep on think, speaking of uniqueness, taking a leap of faith, trusting, okay. She may be feeling like the false person in this reading. Wow. Okay. So let's pull from this deck and see what the divine would like to suggest to uh, Rosie concerning her love life and moving forward. Okay. Let's see here. All right. We got the cards that just popped out and we're going to just go with it. Okay. Right action. Okay. It speaks of the right action. Okay. It says a paragraha literally means let everything that wants to go go and everything that wants to come come 
okay? Let go of anything that's not good for you anymore. Let it go, okay? Right now, okay? Take the right action. Anything that wants to come to you, let it come. But remember, we said as long as you stay positive, positive things are going to come to you, okay? And as long as you are able to pay attention to the red flags, you can release anything that's no longer serving you, okay? Because the sacrifice card is here as well. It says sometimes surrender is painful. Oh, my goodness. Now, isn't that something? That's the truth. Okay, sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, addictions. It's a sacrifice to love. Oh, So they're cutting out whoever this blonde female is. They're releasing her, okay, because she's full of secrets and lies and deception. Okay, and uh, God, is, God is cutting this, these people out of her life, okay? And it's going to be painful, okay? It's going to be painful to release these people from her past, okay? But... Um, but it, they need to go because it's a, it's a time to sacrifice to love. Okay. So that you won't feel like this false person because you are very deserving of love. Okay. So let's see, do we have time to pull another card here? Let's see if this deck wants to tell us anything else concerning Rosé's love life. Okay. Oh my goodness. What do we have here? Worth. What I was telling you guys, worth. Okay, you have been worthy to belong to love all alone. All alone, okay? You've been worthy of love all alone, Rosé. It says, without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself. Oh my goodness. You are love itself. You don't have to feel like this false person. You're not a false person. You are so deserving of a true love in your life. Just trust that you are. Stay positive, okay? Because it's going to be a journey, okay? And everybody on your journey should not be there, okay? God, the divine is going to cut away anybody that's not there for you. And you need to be okay with releasing those people out of your life because you are so worthy of love. Matter of fact, not only are you worthy of love, you are love itself. All along, from birth, you've been worthy of love since birth, okay? Believe that. Hold that dear to your heart, okay? Trust that, okay? Because that is definitely true, Okay, so take the right actions, okay? Sacrifice anybody that's no longer uh, good for you, okay? Because you are so worth it. Okay, that's a great reading. I really enjoyed this reading. Um, I hope Rosé finds that true love. Okay, if she stay positive, she will find that person and trust that she is worthy of love, okay? And she is not a false person. She deserves this, okay? I want to thank you so much for tuning in to, to this video. I'm going to do more love readings, okay? Because I do love love readings, okay? And so, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I'm always digging in deep for you guys. Y'all know I do. Okay, and I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful day.